Uh, sorry for the gate earlier. I get all kinds of people in here, and the stories they tell to get inside. Not that I blame them, but the city can only take so many before bursting. So, I take it you're here for both as I I am. I'm looking for a place to start. Any information you have would be helpful. Hmm. Well, your guildmates are being hosted by the chief counselor at the Civic Center. She can fill you in about the state of the city and the surrounding area. And she might know something about Balthazar, too. Sounds good. Anything from the ground level? Someone who's dealt with him or his army firsthand? My deputy Ayub is at the camp run by Komir's priesthood. The refugees there may be of help. And then there's... Hmm... How do you feel about getting a little lower than ground level to find what you want? I have a deputy assigned to the local smugglers, the Hamasin. Name a case. Not so sure he's mine anymore. But you might seek him out, if you don't mind walking on that side of the line, of course. I think I can stomach it. You'll find them at the casino. Tread lightly. Maybe with all these outlanders arriving, the council won't need to beg Joko to defend us. What are you talking about? A uh, high commander. Your guildmates were just regaling us with tales of your adventures. You honor us. It's not every day a dragon slayer walks through our door. The counselor must have misunderstood my part of the story. Or she wouldn't be bending over backward to inflate your ego. Well, thank you for the compliment. But this time, I'm not after a dragon. I'm after Balthazar. Do you have any information on his whereabouts? The god himself? We only know he's constantly on the move, chasing who knows what. And that Amnun is essentially surrounded by his troops, which maybe you have some insight into. We're at a bit of an impasse. Joko's government sent representatives of the Morden Crescent to Amnun to offer military support against the Forged. The Morden Crescent may no longer be the honorable Sunspears they once were, but they would make powerful allies. And in a time like this, we need all the help we can get. You people have history books? Open any one of them and it'll tell you short-term gains bring long-term trouble. The Chief Counselor has the right idea. We should be grateful the Mordant Crescent are even considering helping us. We should fly Joko's standard and make it clear we welcome his kingdom's support. We've resisted Joko for years. I'm not about to let him waltz in. And without a fight? Never. It's nonsense. Our only option is to align ourselves with Cormier's priesthood and the remaining Sunspears. Allying with either side will only lead to future conflict. Amnon has been independent, and should remain independent. <sighs> and round and round it goes. I'd welcome any counsel you might have, Commander. Well, it's easy for your char friend to dismiss the threat we face. Joko is nobody's first choice, but we can't afford to turn down the Archon's offer. The Mordant Crescent are the only ones with the strength to ensure our survival. The Sun Spears' numbers are weakened, but their involvement could still be a beacon of hope. Their order has sacrificed everything to defy Joko and the Mordant Crescent. They'll protect us from the Forged. Amnun must remain independent. Our doors have always been open. It's how we survived this long. The moment we pick a side, we're asking for trouble from the others. And you, Counselor? You're awfully quiet over there. There are no good options here. All of these plans are suicidal. I can't endorse any of them. Spear Marshal Cormier was a local hero, even before she fought a fallen god and took his power. Her sun spears have always encouraged these people to keep fighting, even when darkness is closing in. They may be a small group now, but an alliance with the sun spears would be the light in the dark this city needs. 
These people should just look out for themselves. The minute these yapping windbags let a creature like Joko into this city, they give up any hope of freedom. He might be the biggest gun around here, but what happens after the Forged are defeated? Every decision you make has a cost. In this case, all the people have to do is serve Joko forever after they die. What a deal! An unconventional decision, and not what I expected. But thank you for your input, Commander. We'll accept the help of the Morden Crescent. It's our best chance of survival. We do what we must for now, and we'll deal with Joko after the Forged have fallen. Enjoy your afterlife of servitude. Oh, no. So wise, Chief Counselor. Joko will be pleased. And you've ensured Amnoon's future. The people will not see this as salvation. May Cormir forgive us. A moment, Commander? These people are desperate. Caught up in a war they don't understand. Balthazar came to the desert for Krakator, not for them. But why? Why is he doing it? This is why I wanted you to pick the Sun Spears. To represent Cormir. She might guide us to answers or intervene in Balthazar's actions, especially if his goal is noble, but his path is not. Your hope is... inspiring. Thanks. Have you heard from Tiny? I couldn't get a clear signal. Guess I should try again. I have some big news to share. There must be some place that's clear of interference. I'll look once I've finished gathering information. hardly believe it. Th this can't be true. You're not seeing things. Our city is plastered with the banners of the Awakened. <sighs> I told you this would happen. Only Zalambor stands against Joko now. The what do you want? You, Kais? Well, it's not Maybe. All bad. Who's asking? Captain we'll Rahim sent me. He's under the impression that you yes, have access yes, to Hamasin's network. Choices, yeah? Still He's wrong. So interests. beat it. Listen carefully, <sighs> friend. Hopeless. I'm here to kill the god of war. Don't think I won't swat any flies that get in my way. Well, if that's your angle, then you need Zalambor. He runs things. He is the Homocene's network. He's usually in his office in the casino. But he's a very busy man. I'm sure he'll spare a few moments for me. I can't find locally, and I'll get you access to a vast kingdom of new customers. You must be Zalambor. I am. My friends, let's adjourn for now. In the meantime, my casino is yours. Enjoy the Grand Sahil's many luxuries. You spared me from a few more minutes of dealing with those smugglers. For this, I owe you. But next time, make an appointment. Maybe I should explain why I'm here. Oh, I know why you're here, Commander. What I don't know is what it's got to do with me. Elonian wine? I'll pass. You sure? It's not poisoned or anything. I'm offended, Zalambor. You've never once offered me wine. Ah, I present to you Archon Iberu. Of the Morden Crescent. Archon, the commanders come to us all the way from Lion's Arch. Mordant Crescent? 
One of Palawa Joko's undead? I'll be honored with awakening soon enough. But today I still have a pulse, Outlander. As I'm sure you're aware, Chief Counselor Iman invited me here to discuss military aid for Am Noon. And I hear the Alliance has gone through, thanks to this Outlander. Although I know you, Zalambur, worked against it. I don't know what you heard, but you do have the result you want. That's beside the point. Here's the point. Uh, what are you? Don't. <coughs> uh, enough of this. Awaken. Reduce this eye sort of rubber. It's unwise to intervene in our affairs, Outlander. I'm full of unwise ideas. But protecting the living from an undead army isn't one of them. Beat your chest all you like. Zalambur! Accelerate! Don't make me come back here. Help? I don't have love. Apologies for the unpleasantness, Commander. This is why I insist on appointments. Happy to help. Mainly because now you owe me. The fact that I'm still able to walk is a point in your favor for sure. And this time of war does make for strange bedfellows. Cormier knows I've had worse. I'm only after Balthazar, you understand. I can't be dragged down by whatever else you've got going on. My organization makes it possible for me to do many things. Fund public works, donate to our refugee guests, keep candle after candle burning at Cormier's temples. <sighs> I never wanted to cross the Morden Crescent, but I suppose it was inevitable. I'm grateful you were here for the Archon's Overture, so I'll keep an ear to the ground on your behalf. Deputy, Captain Rahim pointed me in your direction. Would you mind if I talk to a few of the refugees about Balthazar? You're welcome to try. Not a lot of folks are in a talking mood. This camp's gonna be no better than the places they fled if we can't get more aid out here soon. I'll see what I can do. 
Maybe people will be more inclined to talk when they feel safer. We certainly wouldn't say no to some help. Priestess Karima can tell you what we need most. Good fortune to you. Bless you. You're very kind. Thank you. Is there any water? You're very kind. We will suffer no Thank blasphemy. You. I won't forget this. You're very kind. Thank you. Faultless fights for all of us. Thank you. Your gods have abandoned you. Leave them alone. Our god is here. You're not fooling the Zyshan. Death to blasphemers. More accolades. Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened to you? We fled north to escape Balthazar's forged. They've been marching the same way lately, up into the highlands. <sighs> At this rate, we'll run out of places to retreat to in no time flat. Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened to you? I... We left a group hiding from forged attacks in Destiny's Gorge, after walking out of the Elon Riverlands to the south. We thought we were in the clear, but... But we were followed. I, I had a chance to run, and I... I took it. I still hear the screams. Please. I ran when it started, and... Oh, Duena, forgive me. I'm a coward. I should have died with them. No. You shouldn't have. And take heart. Balthazar will pay for this. What happened to you out in the desert? We very nearly didn't make it out alive. We escaped the Salt Flats right before a forged invasion. Balthazar has turned the whole desert upside down and... I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it anymore. What happened to you out in the desert? We were coming down from the highlands when we ran into a branded ambush. No one would have survived if Vlast hadn't flown in and saved us. Vlast? You know, the dragon? Glint's offspring. Don't you mean Gleam? Gleam was the name the bards gave him. But his true name is Vlast. He's a savior with wings. 
We owe him our lives. That's... that's the first Scion, Orin's brother. He's a good dragon. He carries on his mother's work. Cormir prays him. Where can I find him? No one knows where he roosts. He just shows up to contest the branded. Cormir bless you. So, Orin has a brother. Thank you. That's great news. I hope. Wait until Timey hears about this. Looks like I'm done here. Now to see if I can reach Timey. Hmm. She said higher ground. Timey, do you read? Come in. Ugh, I must not be getting a signal. I'm here, Commander. I read you. Glad you made it to the Crystal Desert in one piece. You are in one piece, right? So far. Did you duke it out with the fire guy yet? What's happening? Update. Update now. Balthazar's got the desert in chaos. I'm trying to find the shortest route to him to... Well, you know. But I think the biggest news I've heard is a story about a dragon, Vlast. Supposedly, he's another scion of Glint, Aurene's brother. What? Well, tell me all about him! What's his height, wingspan, powers? Did he eat anybody in front of you? I haven't met him yet, but I'll let you know. How are things in Rata Novus? It's hard to change people's minds with conjecture, so I'm trying to prove that killing dragons isn't ideal. I'm also trying to get all the Dragon Lab info into Scruffy so I can become more mobile. It's a madhouse in the lab now. They're giving tours. Tours! Ugh. Speaking of which, here comes one now. Check back in when you get a chance. Ah, oh, recognition.
hope it's worth the wait. I'm really digging this um, expansion so far. Looks nice. Has voice dialogues and all that stuff. It's really good. I like it. Come on. You should have seen Iman's face when we said we were leaving because we were invited to the casino by its owner. Knock. What are you doing here? Enjoying your time off? Freedom is a sweet drink, Commander. I've been busy quenching my thirst. You should join us. We were just about to meet with... Zalambur. I already know a thing or two about this place. A Silvari gambler who's up 500 gold is just my cover, I promise you. Now that he's free, it's okay if I kill him, right? Gentlemen, let's keep it civil. How about it, Kanak? While my freedom's been gratifying, it's also a little boring. This is much more interesting. Besides, I may have made a wager that the Slayer of Elder Dragons can take down a god. And I intend to collect. What are the odds? <laughs> let's not jinx it, Commander. Welcome back, Commander. It's an honor to have the members of Dragon's Watch in my humble establishment. Please, follow me. The Grand Zaheel is already back to running at full capacity, in no small part due to your earlier intervention. We have all the finest games and entertainment the Crystal Desert has to offer. Do you enjoy games of chance? When the odds are in our favor. I reached out across my network for information about Balthazar, and I think I know what he's after. Kralkatorik. You're half right. He's currently hunting down a crystal dragon, but that dragon is of last. I wonder why he'd suddenly change targets. Who among us can understand the will of a god? I do know his forged army has encampments all over the crystal desert. He stops at these camps to rally his troops while he's on the dragon's trail. So we might be able to intercept him at one of the forged camps. You've come through, Zalambor. I actually don't regret keeping you alive. The feeling is mutual, Commander. 
I'll take my leave now. Enjoy your time here, please. Stay away from the high-stakes roulette. It's rigged. I knew it. So, who's up for a trip to one of these camps? Sounds good to me. Let's shut him down before he's responsible for anyone else's death. We don't want to rush in blindly. And if I'm going to be joining you again, I may as well make myself useful. I'll scout the main camp, see what I see, and report back. The main camp? On your own? Seems risky. Nah, not alone. I'll go with him. Hmm. Not the response I expected. Hey, vacations have a way of dulling a blade, so to speak. Can't let you fumble around unsupervised. That's more like it. All right. Kaz and I will check out the smaller outposts. Actually, I'll leave it to you if you don't mind. I have some matters to attend to. There's a temple of Cormir near one of the forged camps. You can find me there when you're done. I knew I'd achieve this. 